What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Oreos cereal. Oreo cookies were first produced in 1912. That makes them over 100 years old. They were created by the National Biscuit Company, Nabisco, in their Chelsea factory in New York City, which is now the Chelsea Market. Anyway, the cookies remain pretty much the same since the beginning. In the 90s, they replaced the lard in the filling with partially hydrogenated oils because lard is bad for you and Oreo cookies are the snack food of the health conscious. They've been the number one selling cookie in the US since their introduction in 1912. That's pretty damn impressive. If you took every Oreo cookie ever produced, over 500 billion, and stacked them on top of each other, you'd reach the moon and back six times. And can we talk about how Oreos have been killing it with the varieties over the past few years? You got birthday cake, creamsicle, banana split, ice cream, watermelon, marshmallow crispy, the list, it goes on and on and on. If you're my age, you might remember the ad from the 80s with the catchy jingle. Oh, 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 my best friend and an Oreo cookie. She loves the crunchy chocolate. I like the creamy middle. We'll always be friends with O-R-E-O. From the beginning, Oreos were marketed as the cookie that you dunk in milk. So cookies plus milk obviously sparked the idea for a great cereal. In 1998, Post introduced Oreo cereal, and it was a huge hit. Three years later, they added marshmallows to the cereal which made it even better. And it remained a very popular cereal for 10 years until it was discontinued in 2007. Why would they do that? Well, it's a little tricky, but try to follow. See, Post licensed the name from Nabisco, which later merged with Kraft. And sometime around 2007, Post and Kraft stopped co-branding. So Kraft owns the right to the name Oreo, and Post owns the recipe for the cereal. But they can't play together anymore. However, there's an awesome loophole. See, there's a South Korean company called Dongsa Foods, and they have a licensing deal with Post to produce Post cereals in South Korea. Kraft acquired Dongsa Foods a while back, and half of their food stock became property of Kraft, thus making Dongsa Foods the only company with both licenses required to produce Oreo cereal. So, it still exists in South Korea, but it's just as delicious as you remember it. Same chocolate O's covered in sprinkles, and the marshmallows are soft and chewy, unlike traditional marbits found in U.S. cereals. Look at that. And when you add milk, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. So if you're missing the taste of this awesome cereal, head over to eBay or Amazon and you should be able to find yourself a box of it. Now I'm going to go enjoy my cookies and milk. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. Cereal time, cereal time.